before I came to this training, um, yeah, I was just completely um, consumed, really, by all of my data. And, um, yeah, I, I had therapy and that kind of stuff, and so I was already into the, the um, process of blaming my parents and my family for everything. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'd also had some, you know, some quite challenging experiences in my life and um, yeah, I, I just allowed myself to become everything that had happened in my life and, and all this negative data and all these memories that I had that came up a lot for me, um, I really believe that was me and every time I tried to have a relationship either with a friend or um, with a partner, it was just so difficult, like, I just found relating so incredibly difficult and um, I just was so convinced that there was something wrong with me and, um, yeah, I was very lonely actually when I met this training and um, it was incredible to, to walk into a room in my first open meeting and just be met by this totally open buzz from loads of people and I wasn't expecting that at all. It, I had some preconceived ideas about what it would be like and it was completely different. It was just amazing and, and to be greeted by people and to be met by people that saw me as open intelligence. And that is just so powerful. And um, yeah, it is just so incredible to, for people to meet me as open intelligence and to see that I'm completely perfect and to have that direct transmission from everyone. And then, um, yeah, I, I did a couple of introductory trainings. I did a lot of open meetings and clarity calls. And then after about six months, I did my 12 empowerments. <coughs> and I had a trainer, my, my wonderful trainer, Kat. And um, yeah, over the last couple of years, it's just been a blowing open of all of my data and just really getting used to all of these negative data, um, like, I had so much, felt so much shame all the time, like on a day-to-day -day basis, and um, I really couldn't handle feelings of, like, sexual attraction or anything like that. It was, it was just really all too much for me, and um, it really has just been a process of not having to do anything, just committing to the Four Mainstays again and again and again every day, and having such amazing support from the community and my trainer and um, it has just become like a total pleasure to be alive <laughs> basically um, yeah I was thinking about it the other day I was like wow I really feel so completely happy and um, I think that's the first time in my life that I've really felt that ongoing um, yeah, it's amazing, and, um, and all that energy that I was um, kind of suppressing and not allowing myself to feel, that's just transmuted into beneficial potency, and, and now I have this like totally open door of the four mainstays where I can just pour all of that energy into, and like I never went to university, and um, I was always looking for like what should I do with my life, and, um, and just I mean, for me personally, just through doing service, that's just been such an incredible opportunity for me because, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm learning all the time and, like, through doing service, people and the trainers and um, coordinators, they, they give me roles and then they teach me how to do them and it's just, like, you kind of, there's no qualification that I need to do it. And I'm <laughs> it's amazing. Like I've never, I've never been anywhere where I've just been so empowered to, to do and to discover what I'm good at. And, and to know that everything I do, for balanced view, is directly contributing to making the world like the most amazing place to live in. So like, yeah, that's, that's like all I want to do. <laughs> Because, um, like, why would I want to do anything else <laughs> than, than, like, contribute to this world becoming the most amazing place to live in, like, for, and for people to have the same experience that I've had? 
Because I just know that there's so many people out there that just feel so shit about themselves and are just going through so much and not realising that, that, um, that it's possible to, um, to have this incredible experience of being alive. <laughs>